So it's about, Lagos State is a microcosm of Nigeria. And it's about all of them coming out because we need a huge margin. We need a landslide victory. Right? So it's not, you see, this coloration, I, no, because when you talk about Amor Dauphin, Oshodi Solo, Ajemi Feludun, that's pretty much it. They now start talking about Ali Mosho, Koshofe, Shomulu, Ikeja. These are predominantly Yoruba places. These are places that the PDP never won in almost two decades. That's huge. So you have a lot of Yoruba, and that's why it's so painful to see how people that are not even from Lagos are trying to question my pedigree in Lagos that goes back over 400 years, trying to make this a, um, you have voting for an Igbo governor. Mm-hmm. Right? It, would, that, would that be because you are you are half Igbo? Is it even correct to say that you are half Igbo? Your mom is Igbo. Yeah, your my wife is, is Igbo. My wife is Igbo. Okay. Timbo's wife Chine, is from Mr. Chine, Chine, yeah. Your, your Chinedu. My right? grandmother gave me the name Chinedu, okay. which means God guides me. Right? My other grandmother on my paternal side gave me Patrick. Right? And my grandfather gave me Gbadibo. Right? So I don't understand. You see, anyway, a governor that dodged debates five times has clearly decided that this conversation is not going to be issue-based. So they're going to muddy the waters and bring in whatever it is. But I tell people, see this, this Yoruba that people want to carry on, it should be not just lip service. When herdsmen were coming and killing people in the Southwest, oh. what was Songulu and Tinubu saying? When Rotimi Akeri Dolu, a fellow governor, stood up for his people. When people like Sonny Goho stood up for his people. When people like um, Pade Banjo stood up for his people. What were they saying? When um, Tinubu went to go and pay condolence visit to Faso and he asked, where are the cows? Mm. Was that very Yoruba? Was that in the interest of Yoruba? And then you now find that it's only when it's time to play politics that they start to remind you, but what have they done for the Yoruba people? Markets burn down in Lagos State, Timbu is quiet. Markets burn in Kano, Timbu goes there and gives them money. Right? So, all our young men that are on the streets, that are on drugs, have they gone to go and meet the, oh, yeah, you buy my sons, come, yeah. let's get you off the street, let's rehabilitate you. Do you, All speak, right, they, do you they, speak Igbo? Just, yeah, just wait, I was going to ask that. <laughs> that was what exactly <laughs> I was going to ask. But before you even... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there has been that robust response from even the Euro, Yoruba Social Cultural Group, at Fair, yes. Fair okay. saying that you are a true Lagosian and like you have said, your family dates back, you know, yeah. five generations. Yeah. But do you speak Yoruba? What, what do you say about the people that say you don't speak fluent Yoruba? I, I speak Yoruba. But my intonation, okay. my intonation is something that makes people laugh at me. Okay. Um, but, Yoruba, da, da. but I understand Yoruba very well. Uh, like I understand me, I Yoruba understand Yoruba, Yoruba as well. Right? I understand Yoruba <laughs> well. But speaking hey, boy, it... Hey, Yoruba, da, da. Oh, boy, Yoruba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ibo, unko? Not really. Okay. Right? Not really. But also, it didn't help that I schooled abroad for so long. Yeah, I mean. As well. Yeah. yeah. Right? But I'm learning, you know. <laughs> and it points to the come and bring you a fluent speech in Yoruba. Maybe it's with my, my inauguration day. Where are you learning your Yoruba I have at my this teacher. point? Oh, you have a teacher yeah, right I have now? A teacher. You, you think it's necessary it's right now to important. govern no, Lagos no, no, State? No, not that it's... Not that... See, there's so much richness mm. in the Yoruba language. In the always, in the, in the proverbs. There's yeah. so much knowledge in it. Even when you start thinking about Ifa, not just as a spiritual thing, but as a codifying of knowledge, right? And how that's the basis on which they now created analog and even computers. It is so, even, no matter how you want to study it, whether it's history, whether it's language, whether it is understanding visual communication, it's amazing. Uh-huh. So for that, I'm learning it. Okay. But, and language goes into people's hearts, right? English can, if you're very good, go into people's hearts, but language always goes into people's hearts. So it's important to learn. So your mother is Igbo. Yeah, my mother. Your is wife Igbo. is Igbo. My wife is. And Igbo. you don't speak Igbo. I Neither speak do you Igbo. speak Yoruba. I, I understand. I understand both. Okay. I understand both. You know, I mean, your wife came out with this amazing campaign video. I mean, she's been in the center of this whole Ferrari yeah. about your, you know, and background and yeah. all of that. Now, tell me, what? How did? How was that video received from your end? And what do you say about everyone who? Um, have, uh, you know, kind of said some disparaging words mm. regarding that particular well, video. I, you see, let me tell you something about my wife. My wife was on a full Bill Gates grant studying malaria, African malaria parasites in Thailand when I met her. And her professor then changed the topic to Asian malaria parasites 
And she said she cannot do this because it does not benefit her people. She then, she left, came back to England, got a master's in um, public health from Oxford, then started her PhD all over again because she must do the African malaria parasite. That is the extent of her passion for her people. Whatever knowledge she's getting, it must be applicable to her people. Right, so when I saw her, because I was not, I did not, to be honest, I was not aware of that video. <laughs> I, was, I was campaigning and everything. She came, she did it, and then eventually, like three, four days later, people started calling me, like, oh wow. So I then watched it, I was like, wow, this is a very first lady. You know, I, I like it. <laughs> I, 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 I was very impressed. I think it's really good. And it goes, it's substance, it's not just talk. It's, it's, I know the value that she'll bring um, to advisory or governance, and I know the kind of funds she can also pull in across the world. I mean, she's currently backed by, her research is currently backed by Bill Gates. So I can only imagine if she had more access to government to, be able to do more research and getting more funds for the state. So she's definitely a value add, and she's very okay. passionate about her people. Yeah. Okay. You're, At you're, the same time that yeah. video came out, yes. your sister's video came out yes. as well. Yeah. She works with the Lagos state government yes. as well. And you know, people are talking about or saying that's the beauty yeah. of democracy. Yes. You're supporting your sister. Is your sister supporting you? Yeah. Well, see, I'm very proud. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I talk about it all the time. Domestic violence response team. I, I was, we were there from the beginning. We were there when she'll come back. Hear all these complaints. I'll be crying. I'm breaking down because of all the pain that people were dealing with. And I've seen her grow. So I'm very proud of her. Whatever this government wants to do to try and use that, put scripts that she must say this or say that, it's okay. She's your real sister. She's my sister. You know, <laughs> she's my sister. And there's, there's, more, there's more that bonds us than you know, than APC planes, that's okay. politics. Uh, just a quick one before we uh, come to issues of governance. Yes. Um, what's your understanding of the changing concept of who a Lagosian is? Mm. When, when, I mean, you'll be dealing with more than 20 million people. Uh, like Oji said, there will be a population. So there's a first generation, second generation, third, maybe fourth. Uh, things are changing. The description of, you know, who has a right to do what? Is, is, is nebulous. Who is the Lagosian to you? That's a very tough one and a very sensitive one at that. Um, you see, originally the inhabitants of Lagos were the Awaris and the Igons. Now, you see a lot of people with English names that are here today were people that were captured on these shores. The Awari, mm -hmm. right? because that's the first contact with, with the coastline, yeah. right? So a lot of them came back. A lot of them never even got to the shores where they were taking them to. Like the rival side of my family, the British boarded that vessel and turned it to Freetown, which is why it's called Freetown. And that's where they got their first education. And then these people came back and then fought for freedom from the colonial masters. I'm talking about Herbert Macaulay. I'm talking about Eric Moore, all those kind of, those families. So there are people that have really invested and built Lagos. So people who call them foundational Lagosians or aboriginal Lagosians. Then there are Lagosians that might not be from here, but they've invested and really everything that they own in life is here. They've added so much value. They're paying taxes, right? Am I going to say they're not Lagosian? And they have people that are just coming in, you know, maybe last 10 years or anything, but they're creating value, right? So for me, I, I think we are ultimately going to get to a point where we see Lagos as a microcosm of Nigeria, one that we are all united. But let us also respect indigenship rights as well. Mm -hmm. They should also be given a pride of place. Because the owners have, of the land. Yes, they don't, they don't have any other place to call home. A yeah. Kadoso cannot go to Oyo and say he wants to work for governor. A Kadoso cannot go to Ikiti and say he wants to become governor. They will tell you, where is your father's house? You see, so, but a, someone will look and come from Oguam, the governor of Lagos, right? Tinobu can come from Oshan, the governor of Lagos. Uh, Arigbe Shola can come in, Governor Faliki, all these guys, right? Okay, so the Lagosians that are here, where can they go? This is the only place they have called home. So let us be sensitive about that as well. But what I know is that Lagos State should be the commercial capital of Africa. Mm -hmm. And to do that, everybody must feel that they are stakeholders. Everybody must feel that this government enables commerce. And everybody must feel at home then we can start to get to that excellent level that we are supposed to be. Well, what do you therefore say to those who, who uh, say to you that, yes, he's a Lagosian, yes, he's well-read, Ivy League schools, but then he's got no corporate experience mm. to lead a state 
like I asked, Lagos. I asked them, what corporate experience did um, Paolo have? Think about it. He was a lawyer. He was a, a politician. He was, he was a, a lawyer, publisher. He was a lawyer. He was a publisher. He wrote his own books. Yeah. And then you can call him an activist. In a way, yes. Abba Macaulay. Same. Pajakonde. Well, uh, you know that people have taken you up on the Jakonde part. Tell me, tell me. Uh, that when you say that, what experience did he have? And they will tell you that he was a, a newspaper editor, he was a journalist. No, we are was... talking about experience in the public sector, because that's what they are talking about. They either say, oh, you have not worked in government, or they say you have not worked in commercial service. Or they are whatever. also asking about your corporate, private sector corporate experience. <sighs> I work with the American government. I work with the Chinese government. When you say that, what, massive, what, what, what does that mean? Massive urban planning. So, for instance, in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, I consulted with New Orleans government, right, to redesign the, um, the what's this space called? I'm sorry. I forgot. It will come to me. So, you have New Orleans. You have the low saddle part. That is very, that's cheap. Right, and then you have the French Quarter. That's it, the French Quarter. That's the expensive part of the real estate there. But we wanted to create a dense design there because we had to move all these people from staying in flood-prone areas, right? So this was a project that we did for over a year, right? To design and consult for that. Same thing with the Chinese government in Beijing, the Beijing Authority, right? We came in there as consultants to work with them on that. When I moved back to Nigeria, I worked with um, Temple Housing who does alternative housing using containers and using alternative construction methods. I worked with CISA, right? We did, we does fantastic design. So it's not like you've never worked or earned a living from what you studied, architecture. You see, some people, they're just desperate. All right, but you have also been in this um, mix of this uh, certificate forgery allegation as well. People say that you did not really go to I, I, MIT. Premium Times published, and published an article Premium I think yesterday yes, and has debunked it. But you see like, what yes, I've learned I mean, from this have, process. That's what I to do. You, know, so there was, you know when I went to the market that got burnt, that was yeah. set on fire, I started to see that some people were saying that I set the place on fire then went there as a solution. And now people are thinking I forced a ticket. So you see that people's minds program based on what they do or what is acceptable to them. Mm. You see, the idea of forging a certificate and coming and talking about it is so foreign to me that, I mean, why, why would I even think to do that? Well, you see, people that do that expect that other people are doing that, right? And that's why they come up with these, all these kind of stories. But the fact of the matter, whatever dirt they want to throw on me, is only, I'm only going to just take it and climb higher. Because I did not come here to lie. Mm. I've kept all my receipts. And I have them in abundance. Okay, cool. Yeah. So do you really think you can run Lagos better than some Olu? Of course, because I'm not encumbered and shackled by one man that is a godfather of Lagos and is demanding so much out of the Commonwealth of Lagos. That is one. So you can tell that I'm going to be delivering four times what the APC is currently delivering. That's already a baseline. That's a baseline. Secondly, we are going to open up our accounts. The reason why they cannot open up their accounts is because of all the things that they are taking from it. Now, I don't intend to take from it. So I'm going to open their accounts and break it down line by line and even go one step further. Illustrate it with infographics. And you will not have to apply for FYI. It will be there. I will be updating it. And I, I keep saying this thing on live TV. So if after the third month you've not seen it, you know that this guy is not what he says he is. So after the third month, that's what you're saying? First on month. I'm saying first month. First and month. First month. after the third month, you're not... All of you should well, come for me. should come for you. So, okay, great. But and, that's and the and same thing that, um, similar to what Funcho Doherty and Jando are promising, a, a CEO that will not have a second level of approval. Why, therefore, should it be you? Why not Funcha Duarte, who I'm sure do you have like a relationship, you know, your No, I, your I, respect, I respect, you know. respect Funcha Duarte. I think he's an excellent man. Um, and he has his own race. I'm running my race, yeah. right? And my race is also an edge that I have out of all the other candidates. Is that I'm, the only, I'm the only one that's actually been a candidate, right? I've contested for Senate, Lagos West, the largest sure. central district in Nigeria. By population. That's right. I've visited a lot of these wards, so I know the pain points. Right? That's why when I talk, I talk from a place of empathy, because I've seen this pain. Right? So if there's an edge, I'll say, okay, that might be my own edge. Um, Fung Shodrati has his edge. Um, yeah. 
So, um, does John Doe have any edge? I don't, I don't, I don't. Really got that All right, what about the reports of collapsing your party? And also, I'd like to find out um, you did say that Peter Obi will be campaigning. Yes. But he, there was a report saying that he was going to cancel his campaigns because he wants to pursue his no, 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 mandate. No, 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 no. Peter Obi came, called me the very next day. In fact, we're supposed to campaign on Saturday. But it was too short notice. And then we're supposed to campaign on Thursday, but he had to have a court hearing. So he's very supportive, he's very um, encouraging, and he's going to be on ground. I have no doubt about it. Mm. And he's been supportive. He supported several governorship candidates. Of course, I mean, he's been campaigning. He's been on the field in several states, and he's coming to Lagos. Yeah, well, I mean, we saw pictures that he posted uh, yeah. yesterday in a do state, yes. but mm. we didn't see the candidate with him in that picture. So oh, there's okay. been that you know, conversation whether or not he is going to continue to campaign. So it's refreshing to yeah. hear that he will campaign. He will, he will, for he will, you. he will. You, he has a big heart. He absolutely has a big nice. Heart. So you are saying that you are capable of running Lagos? Certainly. You, I mean, I'll be the greatest every, governor every, Lagos has You will has be had. the great. That, right, because, so. because the bar of set is a large relative Jack mm -hmm. right? And, and he did so much that I can learn from. Yeah. So I'm not starting from ground zero. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to build and... Top that. Okay, first 100 days. And you've also talked about delinking Alpha better yes. as well. I'd yes. love to hear your what you plan to do your first 100 days. Three agendas, just give, lay well, down. Well, we're going to depoliticize waste management so that Lagos State can actually genuinely be clean and open it as a platform transparent system so that anybody that has trucks or the capability to evacuate waste can get involved, right? We're going to stop the payments of Alpha better. That, that, How do you a, plan on doing that? I mean, I'm people the CEO are saying of the, the state. Okay. Whatever they want to say, they can say. But I do not see value in this value you are giving me. LIRS is the one that does most of this work anyway. So why should I be paying 10% of the revenue of the state to you when there are children that are in schools that don't have tables, that don't have chairs? Um, we, are, we are not paying our doctors on time. Lagos State, you look at all the debts that we are in. You don't see the level of development in the state as well. So it's not, it's not acceptable. So waste management, delinking yes. alpha better. And then and transportation systems. We're going to also um, open up the BRT lanes because these are short-term goals. Open up BRT lanes to so other companies that can carry over 40 people, right? And ensure that that starts moving forward. And then we are going to publish all the accounts of Lagos State. First 100 days, publish all the accounts of Lagos State okay. and then start creating infographics so that we can build trust again with the people. Yeah. Okay, just, just two seconds. Uh, you've run a good race. If on Saturday or whatever the results are out, you do not win, will you concede and, and congratulate the winner? If INEC is a fair umpire and not an arm of the APC and they electronically transmit results, as you know, we've gotten a judgment that yes. says yes. INEC must do that, must do, yeah. right? And if there is no intimidation or harassment that stops people from voting, and that happens, and we see clearly that that's not the case, which I know it will not be. But let's, in this hypothetical world, mm -hmm. I don't want Lagos State to go up in flames. So whatever I have to do to keep the peace, because I love Lagos, you know, it's like that. It's like that. Um, that situation with King Solomon, where they wanted to cut the child. Or, you know, I always choose to yeah. keep the child. Solomonic right. wisdom. Well, thank you. All right. well, thank, thank you, you thank so you so much, much for having me. Always Unfortunately, a I would so have much. loved to find out you are you collapsing your party. If, no, collapsing. No, if, if you no were other, to, parties I mean, other parties are collapsing are going to collapse for us. Yes, for you uh, as well. we have you one. We have one goal have to one. take out the APC, and all of us are coming together to do that. That's good. Thank to you hear. very thank much. Thank you so much thank for you. having me. Badibu Rose Viva, we wish you good luck. Thank you.